Hey, hey, what's going on trainers? Jaybird here. Today's episode of Pokemon Gambling, I'm going to be opening up a single box of Paradox Rift here. Uh, I was at my local card store in Denton. I was visiting to try and find a collection box of the uh, 151 that comes with the binder, but I didn't find it there. I didn't find it at Walmart or Target, so I kind of went a different route, and I ended up getting a magnetic box like this and while I was there I got the idea to make a brand new video series uh, trying to collect every single card of 10 different Pokemon of my choosing and as much as I love Charizard I cannot afford his cards even the uh, the lesser ones I cannot afford those cards so I chose 10 other Pokemon, like Greninja, Typhlosion, Tyranitar, uh, Garchomp's one, which I pulled one, and my little brother pulled one, so those will probably go towards uh, the collection as well. But if you haven't seen that video, it's on my TikTok. It should be up on YouTube by now, at the time of this posting. But I just want to let everybody know that I'm starting a brand new series where I'm going to collect every single card of those of 10 different Pokemon so just stick around see what happens see how I get them and how long it takes me to uh, collect those cards we got Palkia, Miltank, oh, we start off with the Armor Rouge EX here nice would like to see the other Armor Rouge card now I've already given off my list of want cards in the previous two videos let me lower this actually in my previous two videos so I'm not gonna go through and do it again but you know one of them we're looking for is the armor rouge full art I want to see Steelix Yavaltal and we've kind of pulled all the other ones outside of Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon so we will be looking for those as well code card energy Get out of here, energy. I don't know what to do with it. A little, knackly, nimble, screen tail. Mm. Got the two promo cards right there. Anything behind Gimme Ghoul? Nah. Just a tingly. Tingle, tingle. So, while I was at uh, TCG Nation trying to look for the 151 collection binder box thing, uh, I ended up seeing they had these ETBs for $35, so I told my wife to choose between the Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon, so she chose, obviously, the Iron Valiant. Now let's hope some of her good luck rubs off onto this. Got a low kicks hollow there. So far, one out of three. Let's see if we can pull at least one or two full arts. Really loud ripping packs. Energy, Spenda, Tink Tink, Dwellow, Blitzel, and Ah, Hollow Zatu. All right. I hope I hope there's something in here. If not, I don't think my wife's gonna be a happy camper if there's not. I know she, I know she wants there to be some really cool stuff. So let's bring that to life. Let's bring it to fruition. Steeny, Absol. Hey, there we go. There's a mining right there. I like that card. Wonder if we can pull Plusle. Have the uh, the Twinks. Get the Twinkies. There we go, there's a hit. There's a cute little guy. Cute little crybaby, it looks like. If I happen to pull the Roaring Moon S S A R S I R or the Iron Valiant version, I will run to Lord Rush Collectibles 
and send it off immediately for grading because I have the Garchomp SAR along with uh, not the Golden Garchomp, the other one, as well as the Groudon from Raging Surf that my little brother pulled. I took those <clears throat> during trade night and got those sent off. And hopefully those return middle to end of January for my birthday. Be a nice birthday surprise. See what grades they are because they look really good. Hopefully they're, we want them to be tens, but at least not. If not tens, then nines. Oh, Crocolore Foycoco. Hey, we got Aegislash full art there. There we go. Got some hits out of the box. I'll take it. I think my wife did a good job of choosing between the two. Now, if only there would be an Iron Valiant or a Roaring Moon. Yeah, that'd be really nice. But, can't complain. Can't complain. Code card. Flamingo. I will not acknowledge his in-game name. Rourke. Mini War. Porygon 2. Oh, snap! Oh, 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 shit. I gotta... I guess I gotta run to... <laughs> I guess I better run and go get it graded then. Hell yeah. Holy crap, I was not expecting that. We pulled the Iron Valiant out of the Iron Valiant ETB. Oh, man. Now I gotta tell my wife I gotta go spend more money. Because I'm over here shit talking about how I have to go run and get it graded, so now I, I might have to run and go get it graded. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna double check the prices first, see what they're kind of going for, seeing if it's. I don't know. Do I, do I back it up and go, or do I be a little bit more logical and look? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Anything. Oh. Man, that would have been a nice way to end that. Holy crap. So I think my wife did a great job <laughs> of picking a box. We got Armor Rouge EX there. Aegislash EX Full Art. We got the Minin and the Almighty Iron Valiant EX with the uh, Iron Bundles in the background, Iron Thorns, and the uh, Mothra back there. Man. I can't believe that actually happened. Man, it's so so shiny and sparkly. I can't tell what the uh, the borders and stuff look like. All right. Well, I'm going to have to take a, a closer look at that just to see if it is worth going and taking to get graded. But uh, that's going to do it for today's episode of Pokemon Gambling. I would say the gamble paid off. My wife did a great job uh, going with her gut on picking the uh, Iron Valiant ETB there. Definitely turned out in our favor. So thank you, babe, for all the, the love, support, and the uh, all the luck that came out of it. And I will be back. I will let you guys know if I am going to take this to get graded or not. But uh, I don't know what to say. So until the next video, I'll see you then.